Oh wow, this is actually good. Hey babe, good fish. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Tennessee. <laughs> Devin and I took a trip out here to the Nashville area. Started the trip off in the city, man. It was so much fun. We went to go see Dave Chappelle and Joe Rogan for like the biggest comedy uh, show we've ever attended. Also had some special guests. We had Jeffrey Ross, Donnell Rawlings, and also Tom Segura. Absolutely nuts. And now we're getting to the fishing portion, ladies and gentlemen. We have broken out the kayaks. That is right. We drove up from Texas. And we are going to get on the water today for the first time on the trip. We're actually staying a little west of Nashville, but we're going to be traveling east today. We're going to drive maybe two hours, and we're going to hit a very popular spot, break down a lot of our gear. We've got eight different rods here in our Yakima. I think this is called the Top Water. I don't even know if they still sell this, but anyways, we've got eight rods in the lockbox, but I've also got the reels separate. We got them in socks and like a box, you know travel friendly anyways I've had some reels get scratched up in here if we leave like eight fully decked out combos in there just kind of banging up against each other on the drive they are pretty supported but it is what it is we have two Old Town Autopilot 120s these are trolling motor kayaks with spot lock absolutely our favorites I haven't linked them in a long time but if you want to check them out link down in the description once you get on the water there's nothing better but of course the loading and unloading process takes a little while they're kind of heavy we'll showcase a little bit of that here today so let's go ahead and rig a few things up we got some fly gear we got some casting gear we're going to talk about a lot of different baits when we actually get on the water but for now let's go ahead and get ready for this long drive <laughs> All right guys, as you can see, we have made it to the water. We were actually planning on fishing just on the other side of this dam, as you can see. We ended up looking on the other side of the dam and this lake is absolutely crystal clear. People are catching fish. We went ahead and verified that on fish brain, smallmouth, even a walleye. I don't really know what people throw for walleye. I don't think I've ever caught one, but I it would be very exciting. And nonetheless, the place looks spectacular. There's low winds up here. It's nothing like on the other side of the dam where we had intended to fish and had done all this research. We took a look at that rip wrap from over the side of the bridge and it looked spectacular. We even saw some fish busting at the surface. Uh, I think we've got good opportunity and the casting should be easy right there because there's low winds. Let's get on the water though. GoPro up, see if we can catch fish in a new state, new lake. Everything's new. Bear with us. Let's see if we can catch some. All right. The truck is parked. Let's assemble this beast. My kayak's broken. Well, y'all, we got on the water. Super excited to get started and go to put my motor down and it says nope. I don't know. It's not even getting connection from the battery at all. A $3,800 paperweight basically. So now I'm towing her across the lake and I'm probably, I'm happy enough to use the one with the paddle and she can use the one with the motor and cover water because I'm just going to be using the fly thing so I don't need to be like moving a lot anyways. But huge disappointment. We checked all connections. We just charged the battery. The trolling motor is good. Everything's plugged in. The kill switch is on and her kayak literally won't go. So we drove them halfway across the country to go 2.9 miles an hour. It's supposed to be going four miles an hour, but now we're in tow mode. <laughs> Send good vibes that we catch some something. fish. <laughs> something. something. Pedal drive. All right, let's make one of these first few casts. I'm gonna tie on the one that Christian recommended me. I have not thrown it yet. A chartreuse game changer. Oh, oh. I think I just had a fish. Oh, 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 fish. He just hit it. That was such an aggressive bite. We'll just hit that. Oh, oh my God. It looked like a pike. It looked like a dinosaur. Oh, shut up. I have a fish. I have a fish. I have a fish. I have a small mouth. All right, meanwhile, while Weston is over trying to catch dinosaurs, I link up with the first fish. <laughs> I just changed things up to that little mini, mini crank. I was like third or fourth cast with that little mini crank. I was throwing the, I don't want to let him go yet because I kind of want a picture with it. As you guys know, it has been a total struggle bus to get to this point. Nice. 
Oh, chunk. He is not happy. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Expensive rod. Hey. Everything went wrong, as usual. Golly. Kayak swap. We are ready to go. Okay, now it's good. The battery case is open. There's a bad connection in the battery thing. That's what's going on. Seems we have fixed this motor, but it's still acting up, so. There we go. There we go. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, it came off. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been my largest smallmouth. He wasn't crazy big, but oh no. I have to go over there and spook everything now. <laughs> Another teeny one. There we go. <laughs> I'm the master of the little bitty smallmouth bass. Got him. Oh. That was like a two to three pound smallmouth. Yep, just had a good one. I didn't even really get to fight him out. That's a bummer. That's okay. There's more here, I bet. Well, I think that's going to do it, y'all. It is day two. We are back at the cabin. Actually just took the pups on a morning hike to get them more out because Weston and I are rigging up our gear. We are going to go by foot today. That's a good one. Oh my gosh, there he goes, y'all. And try and target some different bodies of water as well, whether that be ponds, rivers, lakes. We don't know exactly. We've pinpointed a few places we do want to give a try. Busting out. I don't even think this thing hasn't even made a debut. So uh, got this in the other day. We might throw in a little bit of an unboxing clip. This, guys, is my Shimano SLX BFS reel. I'm super duper excited about Like you guys know, Weston has been using that Shimano Corrado BFS, and I'm not gonna lie, I've been a little bit jealous. So, didn't go with the exact same one that he did. Figured we might switch it up a little bit just to have a variety of arsenal in our tackle, and that is going to be the Shimano SLX BFS. We went ahead and got the XG model. By the way, y'all, this is like an import only. We couldn't even find this locally. You cannot get it around here. Same thing with the Corrado, actually, but like a lot of places are sold out of reels just because of, you know, everything's kind of behind as far as shipping and manufacturers go right now. So you really cannot get this thing. We found it through like some Japan portal website that, I paid like 23,000, was it yen? No, won? No, that's Squid Games. We paid 23,000 whatever dollars for this thing. <laughs> the thing with this reel is they're geared towards small baits and casting them effectively. That way you don't have to bust out the spinning gear for your finesse tackle. So think about things like your Ned Riggs, micro cranks, like the micro clutch, micro banger, things like that. Just little moving baits, micro swim baits, all the little stuff you can actually throw on this. And we're gonna pair it up with the Guggen Squad Twitch Rod, but she's gonna show you exactly, like look at, look at the spool on this thing. All right, guys, I'm really excited to hopefully get my first fish on this reel today. I know y'all are ready for day two. Let's go. We just rolled up. Everything is rigged up, and we are right across the street from a golf course, which looks like it has some juicy ponds with big bass catches logged, as well as a creek we're about to check out and another body of water right here beyond these trees. In case you're wondering where this is at, this is the Harpeth River Greenway. We're going to try and get on a couple fishies here today. It says you are here. There we go. Look at this. This looks good. There's a drain. Oh, had a bite. Fish on. There we go. <laughs> nice little Tennessee crappie. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm trying to be quiet. There's a ton of golfers getting a little picture for Instagram, but y'all, ooh, golf course might produce some big bass. Look, those fish are going to be eating these little guys right here. This is going to be good. First catch of day two. Fish. There we go. Got him. 
It's a bass, I think. Maybe not. What do we have here? It's another little crappie. Oh my gosh. This place is loaded with crappie. Huh? <laughs> I just got a couple crappie, but I'm on the hunt for a bass, so. Beautiful day, huh? Oh, oh gosh. Oh, we, I'm just letting it sit. I got another one. There we go. Little guy. Well, still not what we want. Might have to try the pond next door. See you, bud. There we go. Got him. Nice. <laughs> my first fish on my reel. Oh, that's right. Tennessee crappie. A lot of crappie in here. Like if, if you catch a bass, it could be like, <laughs> there could be like a double digit in here. Here we go. What are you? Oh, it's a bass. We got the first bass. He's a little guy, but he's a bass. He almost knew instantly because of those head shakes. Little bass. Got that Ned rig. This is that junior size watermelon red flake bandito bug, and it is doing work. So got one on the crank so far, one on the bandito bug, and Weston is using the streamer, yeah, I believe. I guess he just got another crappie off camera. Wind might be blowing. Got him. Crappie. Well, just had GoPro difficulties on that last fish, but uh, another crappie in the works. <laughs> this is fun though. I don't think I, yeah, I think this is my first crappie ever on the fly. Yep, another first. That's funny. I don't even think about it because we do catch crappie a lot just on the bass gear almost by accident half the time if we're not fishing for them specifically. But yeah, that, that is a good point. Today, first day ever catching crappie at state. Let's go. Well, seems the bite has slowed y'all. I think we're going to sploot. Got him. There we go. There's a good one. Come on. Tighten up that drag a little bit. Oh, wow. This is actually good. Hey, babe, good fish. There we go. Now we got a decent bass on the way out. Okay. Come on. I assume it's a bass. I don't really know what's in here. He's running now. Running and gunning. That's a good one. Oh my gosh, there he goes, y'all. Oh, it's a good bass. It's a good bass. He's taking us in the cover here. Come on. Yes. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is a decent bass. This is a good fish right here. What do we have? Come on, baby. Is this a Tennessee 3? Is that a Tennessee 3? Let's go. Get him over to the shallows. Come on, come on. Oh wow, that's a good one. Yep. Oh boy. Babe. <laughs> that's a big fish. Hey, if I hit on lock, will you grab the big camera real quick? I got like a three and a half pound run. Uh you know, he's like three, four pounds. Uh well, I'm just asking my wife to grab the camera. <laughs> Thank you. There we go, baby. Come on. On the streamer. Uh, dude, fly fish and stuff, I barely ever use it. <laughs> it's like a, a white shad color streamer. There we go, boys and girls. That's like a healthy Tennessee chunk right there. Probably three pounds. Look at this sucker. On the fly gear. Here we go, y'all. Closing things out with a big one. Check us out, a Tennessee Titan, baby. Was that the team? <laughs> we got us a solid one on the streamer. He hit right by the bank. I knew there was some good sized bass out here because of the crappie. For Tennessee, I don't really know what's big, right? Like, is this comparable to a five down south? Because I feel like the fives are harder to come by. Solid, chunky bass. Whew. What a blast. It's nice. Three and a quarter. Cruising, that's exactly what we like to see, y'all. Okay, we are gonna split, leave the golf course. I think we caught like eight crappie. We got two bass right then and there. You guys have already seen us miss like a pike or a muskie. We really don't even know, as well as catching a bunch of smallmouth. Tennessee has been a blast, and we got a little bit more in store for you. Let's go.
We are at the next spot and it probably wouldn't be a Weston Smith video if we did not hit some urban goodness. Now at this we could be in luck with some new species on the video today. Uh, we could certainly catch some panfish like bluegill. We haven't caught any of those yet but I saw a 40 pound carp logged out of this pond right here and I'm thinking if we can see a big carp we'll put Devin on her first one on the fly. Otherwise we're just going to bass fish these. That's going to be the target. We could link up with just about anything that lives up here but uh, there's also another big pond right down the street. We got a couple different bodies of water we want to hit. Let's go ahead and rig up and uh, we got more coming at you right now. We ain't stopping at the golf course. Huh? Damn. Yeah, the fly rod, you can catch a thousand bluegill. I'm gonna have to switch things up, y'all. We're gonna throw a little guy. Switch up from the streamer, y'all. Oh, Devin just had a fish. Rigging up something that stays on the surface a little bit better. A lot of grass here in that streamer. You've got to work it really fast. And I'm just thinking that something like a little fly sitting on the surface is going to bring these bass in since this water is so clear here. Yeah. I almost don't have one small enough. All right, y'all, we got the little fly on now. It's game time. Got him. There he is. <laughs> Got a little guy. <laughs> Another species for the video, y'all. <laughs> That's a little bluegill. <laughs> Check him out, man. <laughs> On the baby fly. See you, bud. Wrapping up the Tennessee trip, we are actually headed down south back to Texas, but then even further than our usual home in Dallas. We're going down to Austin, Texas for the Rogue Invitational. It's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, it's a big CrossFit event, which is not necessarily what we upload to the channel. So maybe y'all aren't interested, but we do plan on hitting some lakes, meeting up with some of our buddies or possibly some creeks. We're, we're going to do some fishing while we're down there for sure. So look out for that content. Subscribe if you're not already. This place was absolutely beautiful. We hit the lakes, we hit some of the finest ponds in the city, and we had an absolute blast. We caught a big bass to close things out. I know you did just see that little bluegill though. We had to maximize our species count while we were out here. This video possibly had more species caught in one episode than any other video we've uploaded in the channel's history. So drop the thumbs up for that for sure and we'll catch you guys on the next one back down south. Peace out. They're loving the little open oh, shack. Let's jerk baits and then we got one on the worm. Okay, come on, Bass Pro. This is the biggest one in the morning.